my friends, it's so good to be back with you at St. John's after I completed and was given a beautiful four-month sabbatical from the middle of July to the middle of November of this year, 2022. On December 11th, just two weeks from now, I and the sabbatical team of Deb Clark, Bill Robinson, and Zarina O'Hagan, our deacon, will be leading an all-parish conversation with the Reverend Angie Emerson, who was the sabbatical shepherd, will be leading a conversation for all of us to listen and to learn what we learn, what the Holy Spirit was saying to us. In preparation, I'd like you to know three things. And that's what I did. The first thing I did is I spent time with my family. Of course, that's my spouse, Tim and our two dogs. But it also meant that we expanded that space and was with my mother and, and brother and his family in Minnesota for 10 days. We spent time with Tim's mom, who lives in St. John's Barry, Lindenville. That's the first thing we did. The second thing I did was build a small camp. You know, that good old Vermont second place. It's just simple. We have uh, access to a place in Peachum called Martin's Pond. It's at the base of Devil's Hill. And yes, our address is on Devil's Hill Road. And I spend time building. And not only am I going to show you some of the pictures that I of the journey of the building, it was a spiritual journey of beginning to build some new sacred space for my family and allowing me to build it within myself and for us. And lastly, I took train trips. Yes, every other week, I jumped on the Amtrak train in Waterbury, went down to Brattleboro, stayed at St. Michael's Church for about four or five uh, hours, and jumped on the train and came back in the same day. And it was a time of quiet. There was no electro there were no electronics on me, either my phone, my computer. That was the sabbatical journey that I took. And you were with me every step of the way. I hope you'll join us on November, on December 11th.